guys, it's Amy, and welcome back to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. How are you guys on this wonderful weekend? Are you having an amazing time? Tell me all about it in the comments down below. What have you guys been up to this weekend? Has anyone fed the duckies this weekend? Let me know. Put it in the comments what you guys are up to, because I just love to hear all of your stories. Love it. Now let's start the episode as we always do and say a big wonderful hello to my lovely Minecraft family. We shall start with Bert and Bertha, if we can find them that is. Hey Bert, Bertha where are you guys? Do you think they're in their bedroom? Hey guys, no, maybe they're downstairs, maybe they're in the block museum. Uh, hey guys, are you anywhere up here? No, they must be downstairs. Hey, oh hey Bertha, how's it going? Bertha, it's me, it's Amy. Bertha, I'm right here, look down, Bertha. Bertha, look down your nose and you'll see me. No, Bertha, I'm not behind you. Bertha, I'm right here. Look down, honey. Look down that nose and you'll see I'm literally right in front of you, Bertha. We've talked about this. You see, her nose is so gigantic, it blocks out her view of me. Bertha, I'm right here. No, I'm not in the map, darling. That's it. Look down. Look down, Bertha. Bertha. I thought you got better at this time. <laughs> Bertha, look down and you, there we go. Good job, Bertha, you crazy goose. Oh, and there's Bert as well. Hey, Bert, how's it going, darling? He's like, I need to find the block of the day. I know you do, Bert. That's why I love you. <laughs> Bless him. I do love my golems. They're wonderful. Let's go ahead and grab a doggy and the kitty cats. You guys are still on the bed. You still, the dogs are still banished on the floor. You guys are crazy. There we go, Comet and Saturn. I love you guys. Cats always win over dogs no matter what. And hello to my wonderful poodles. How are you all doing today? Are you guys all okay? Who's got their head in the wall over there? Who's that? Hey, mister. My darling little destiny. You're so super cute. Anyway, let's give you guys your breakfast. What would you like today? Would you like some baked potato? Anyone? No? How about some fishy? No fishy? No? You sure? You sure you don't want a fishy? You could have fishy if you like fishy. No, you sure? How about some lovely juicy steak? Ah, flowers? No? You want steak? Okay, I guess you want steak. <laughs> Loves it. There we go. We've got Mars. We have Boomer. We have Little Luna down here. We have lovely Destiny. We have Romeo. We have Sailor. And over here, if I can jump up here, we have <laughs> Max. Why are you in the chest as well? We've got Max. We have Lola. And we have Lexi. Now, who should we take with us today? Hmm, I think we had Romeo before. And I think we had Luna just before that. Um, who have we not had in a long time, do you think? Um, I think we've had Mars quite recently. I don't think we've had Lexi, actually. Lexi, do you want to come with me today, my darling? Come on. Let's go check up on Mittens, Mr. Frost, and Blizzard and make sure they're not up to too much mischief. Um, hey, guys, how's it going? Come on, Lexi, come on. Hello, Mittens. No, Mittens, Mittens, no. Remember, I let you out last episode and you made a massive mess of my house. Yes, you did. Don't give me those innocent eyeballs. It took me forever cleaning. In fact, I can't record because I have to spend like a whole million hours cleaning up all your mess. Silly mittens. Hello, Mr. Frost and Blizzard. How are you guys doing today? Okay, you can go in the fun house if you like. Have some fun down there while I get to work. You crazy golems. I love it. Anyway. Let's get out of here and get our work done because we are going to finish up the Enchanted Treehouse today. And as you can see, it's looking really, really cool. I'm so proud of it. Look how beautiful it is. Lexi, you haven't even seen it yet. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? Totally. I think it looks amazing. Hello, Grandfather Oak. How are you today? You're looking just spiffing, old chap. You're looking quite wonderful. Let's go down to the cute recruit patch and see which cutie we have added this week. Yay! I love going to the cute recruit patch. I love seeing all your names. It always gives me a massive happy. I love you guys. You are adorable. So the cutie I'm adding this week is... Can I jump over here? I can. I'm adding Marissa. Yay! I'm adding Marissa because she sent me this totally adorable picture. You can see it on the screen right about now. How cute is that? I love that you can see a whole bunch of my family members. You can see Luna there. You can see Peace Pig. It was so super cute and it made me smile. Marissa sent me this on my Facebook page. And yeah, thank you so very much, Marissa. I love it. It's totally adorable. Welcome to the cute recruit patch. I love you much. Lee. Keep on drawing, honey. you got such good talent. Love it. Anyway, let's get on with it because I really totally want to finish up the treehouse in this episode. And then it'll all be done, Lexi. Then we can move on to the next project. Um, so basically, all we need to do now is finish the very top um, hut, which is going to be the biggest one. 
um, and it's going to be super, super, super much fun. So let's go on over to it and get building. Um, as you can see, I've done quite a bit off camera just so it isn't too boring. Otherwise, it'd have taken me like maybe 797 episodes to do this. And you know, who's going to watch me for 797 episodes to do it? Nobody. They're going to be like, Amy, this is boring. And I'll be like, I know, right? So yeah, I do do a little bit of work outside of recording just to make it like not so incredibly boring. But anyway, Lex, you sit down here just for a bit while I get some work done because don't, don't get sad no Lexi I no Lexi honey don't be sad I just don't want you falling because I don't know if doggies can take full damage and I really don't want to find out so <laughs> I'm gonna leave you here just for a jiffy okay darling well I just finish up up there and I just need to go ahead and grab a whole bunch of this stuff um I don't need the saplings actually saplings um but I'll, I'll, I guess I'll take it anyway uh let's just take everything I guess um and yeah it's gonna be really really cool so if you guys have not been watching the last few episodes where have you been we have been making this really cool tree house and this is um like making do you guys remember like ages ago when I first started Land of Love I made um, the Enchanted Treehouse um, and it was a very simple build because I've only just started playing Minecraft at that point so I wanted to give it a makeover and make this look absolutely amazing so that is what we have been doing and here we are at the very top it's looking fantastic so I saw down here I need to be really 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 careful that drops all the way down to the bottom of the treehouse and I thought we should put some water down there so we can maybe have like a little jump and stuff I thought that'd be really really cool um so we don't have to keep going up and down the stairs we can actually just you know like like just 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 jump basically I thought that'd be a really fun um little thing that we can do and it'd be quite scary um I wonder if it'll make my tummy go funny again uh, we were talking about that I think last episode that when I'm really really like high up in Minecraft like it makes my tummy go really really funny and I don't really know why because I'm, I don't think I'm that scared of heights in real life I mean I'm not a lover of heights but I'm not like uber terrified or anything my uh, fears um, I'm, I'm sure most of you know because I've talked about this uh, a whole bunch of times is flying flying really 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 frightens me <laughs> it really is super scary guys I can't even explain how much like flying freaks me out um, and then like a few months back uh, well actually it was this time last year I got over my fit well actually I lied I didn't get over it but I, I tried to and I got on a plane all the way to America now that may not seem like a big deal but for someone with as like intense plane fear as I had like I had not been flying for like over 10 years I couldn't get on a like big airplane I couldn't I've been wanting to go to America for my entire life it was always my dream and I just couldn't do it I couldn't get on that plane and um so I managed to do it I had some hypnotherapy and I had my friend, my best friend in the world, uh, my soul sister Dana with me. And I got on that plane and it was terrifying. And I was crying so much. It was so scary, guys. Like, I cannot even, like, tell you how frightening it was. It was absolutely terrifying. I was crying. We recorded the whole thing, actually. So if you want to see that video, the link will be in the description uh, down below. And also, if you're on the PC, I'll put a pink bubble above my head right about now click on that and that will take you to my second channel amy's world which is full of my vlogs and stuff like that um so yeah i i did record um actually i did record the whole thing but i did um edit quite a bit out because it was a very personal video um it's the first time you guys will probably see me really frightened i was very very scared i was um <laughs> I was shaking I it, it was really sad but um, I, I hope I inspired some people to maybe work out their fears and help themselves get over their fears and conquer them and stuff um I can't say my fear has gone I think um my fear is definitely still there but I know I can like push through and try at least try to um you know try to get over it a little bit um i do plan on going back to america this year before christmas if i can but i've been very nervous again about the flying part um so i'm hoping i can do it again and i think my biggest like most amazing proudest moment of my life is when i flew back from america on my very own and i was so scared it's one thing getting on a plane with my best friend um you know like a seven hour flight it's another getting on that plane all alone and oh my goodness i it was i i can't children i can't even explain how how i did it it was crazy and <laughs> i'll tell you a funny story it was um i got to the airport and this was in boston 
and I just said goodbye to Dana and her husband and all the children and it was like it was really sad anyway because we were like oh we don't want Amy to go and I didn't want to go home but I had to go home I'd been in America for like three months and um Dana like uh, she was like I'm gonna hope that you know a nice like motherly type lady looks after you because I'm not there to look after you and I was like I'll be okay and then like Dana left and then like I started to cry and I was in the queue, like the security queue and like the like airport staff was so lovely and this like the security guy was like, Are you okay, ma'am? And I was just like, I'm not okay, I'm really scared and he was like, There's no need to be scared. And then this lady who was a mother, she was like, I don't know, like fifty years old or something, she just like she was standing in front of me, she just turned around and she just looked at me and she's like, Honey, you look like you could do the hug and she just like grabbed me and gave me this big hug and I just cried on her shoulder I was so afraid and then like the security guard was like saying to the lady he was like that was a really nice thing that you looked after her and she was like you know I'm a mother I, you know she needs a mother right now and it was just so cute and so sweet and it's something I'll always remember because that lady um she took me um into like the the first class lounge and we had dinner together and then I got on the aeroplane and we were sitting in different seats. Um, she was sitting right at the front and I was sitting like, I don't know, maybe like seven seats behind her or something. And then once we were in the air, she would get out of her seat and she'd come sit with me and just hold my hand and make sure I was okay. And it was beautiful. And then like when like we got to England and we said goodbye and I never like, we exchanged emails, but I never heard from her again. But it was such a beautiful like lesson in like kindness, you know what I mean? And I don't think I would have like got through that flight without that stranger and that was beautiful and I just, I just wanted to share that with you guys you're learning so much about Amy today it's amazing um so yeah that that's my life story um on airplanes and yeah that was I came back I think in February after spending about three months in America and I I desperately want to go back but I'm I'm still very nervous of flying I'm not gonna lie and say I'm over my fear because I'm, I, I will never be over my fear but I will get braver um brave enough to conquer it attempt to conquer it at least I would love to conquer it but I, I don't think I'll ever get over it it's something that has been a big phobia of mine for years and years and years and years so I don't think it's going anywhere <laughs> I wish it would but it's not um but anyway We've talked like a million, million, million things already. This is going good. Let me just, am I on the last piece? Oh, look at that. That's the last piece of glass that I needed. How cool is that? Okay, so that is pretty much the top. So what we need now is these oak leaves and the oak leaves are gonna go round um, on the top. And um, talking of being like not afraid of heights, look how good I'm doing being up here. I don't think I am afraid of heights. I don't think it is, I don't know actually. I, I I don't think I probably am a lover of heights, but I, I don't usually get like weird tummy like feelings when I'm like just in a game. That's a little bit weird. Um, okay, this is cool. So then we're just gonna go all around here um, and fill in this area. Um, and yeah, okay, we're almost pretty much done with this treehouse. In fact, we are gonna be done. This episode is gonna be the last episode we spend on this treehouse. Um, and I'm really excited because it's come along like so good and I'm really proud of it because it's a really nice build It's like one of my favorite builds I've done. Favoritist! Is that a word? This now. Favoritist. Likes it. Um, likes it? Wow! <laughs> what happened to loves it, Amy? Seriously. I need to get some more, um, what do you call it? This stuff. Oak leaves, darling. Oak leaves is what you need. Yes, I do. Because uh, I'm running out of that. I always forget, like, I get a whole bunch before the start of the episode. Like, I go out and, like, grab some. But I'm like, oh, yeah, that'll be plenty. Clearly, it's not plenty. <laughs> it just seems like like, like, it, like it will be enough, but it, it's not. Um, because I need to do, like, a whole bunch. Um, because I want it going, like, about two or three levels above this. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. I think we've got enough just to do this, like, layer at least. Because I have, like, I think 30 more. Um, let's just get that. Do I? I have 42 more. That should be enough just to do this level. And then I can just, like, do the rest of it another time. Um, okay. That looks awesome. I'm loving it, children. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, that looks cool. Uh, how do I get in? <laughs> this way. Ouch, my face. Okay, right. Cool. I like it, guys. I really, 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 really like it. What I might do is just have this uh, going down a little bit here um, and on this side as well and then around here and then oh no dead end children that's a dead end 
um, around here like that. And then we're going to give it some light. So put some lights around here. Cool. And then lights around this bit and then around here as well. Awesome. Okay. So next thing I think I want to do is I want to get um, a crafting table. I'm going to put that here. And then I want to make um, a door and do I need two doors? I think I might need two doors. I think I might need a door downstairs. And we're going to put a door here, like so. There we go, perfect. And then we're going to take this away. And it is night time, um, so I'm a little bit nervous. Maybe we should sleep. But I do need to actually go in the old treehouse, which is still down here. Can you see that? <laughs> Look how fun that is. We need to take um, the bookcases away. Oh, crimey, it's just going to leave us with books, isn't it? Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, wait, I have my... Is this Silk Touch? Uh, it is. Maybe I could use my silk touch pick. Will that work? Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this might take a little bit more time, but that's fine. We've got, we've got plenty of time, children. Time is one thing that we do have. Um, and yeah, we're going to basically pick out a room where we could have the enchantment room. And I don't know if I want it to be the top. I think I want the top for something a little bit more fun. So maybe we could have the enchantment room in maybe the second hut, perhaps? Um... Let's go down and get more. Come on. This bit's taking a while, but it's okay. Tell me about your day, children. Tell me all about your day. What have you been up to? It's Saturday. Saturday, land of love day. Wonderful Saturday. I love it muchly. Um, okay, so once this bit is done, then I can get rid of this entire building, which will be fun. Oh, the sun is rising. Can you see it over my lovely house? Isn't that wonderful? I bet the view from the top of the treehouse is beautiful. I haven't even looked at it properly. I wanted to do that on camera and just see what it was like. Um, so once I've done this, then I need... What do I need? Um, I need to not die crime mini how am i going to get out of this one alive um hmm will i die do you think <laughs> there's only one way to find out Geromino! boink okay now i didn't die that was fantastic okay so let's wait how <laughs> what do i do now <laughs> i'm gonna die if i go down there aren't i will i perish is it worth just risking it? I think it is. Yay! <laughs> that was super much fun. Okay, Lexi, I'm sorry I've left you down here all alone for so long. Do you want to help me um, fill up this bit with water so we can actually jump down and stuff? How high is it? It's really high and scary up there, isn't it? So let's put some water down there. And then let's go get some more water, Lexi. Um, and yeah, and then we're going to do a really cool big jump, which will be super, super fun. Um, let's go and fill this bit up even more. There we go. I think we need two or three more buckets. Ah, I can't get out, Lexi, I'm stuck. Okay, um, let's go and get a little bit more down here, uh, like that. Okay, I just keep hurting myself and I don't really know why. Can you not even, please? Thank you so much, love set. Okay, uh, a bit more here. Okay, we just need one more bucket. I should have made another bucket, Lexi, instead of just using one over and over and over and over and over again. There we go, okay. I really want you to come up in the treehouse. Do you think you're gonna be okay and be real careful and not fall? Um, I, I think she'll be okay. Oh no, we, we're doing good. Okay, so where's the door? We have the door, so we can put the door like here. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, so Lexi, you're going to come up down and just be really careful. Actually, let me make some of the bookcases. Now, how do I make bookcases again? Um, where's the books? It's here. So do I do it like this and then was it um, like this on the top and then maybe... Oh, crime, what's going on here? I don't know. There we go. Okay, bookcases. Love set. Right, so we've got the bookcases. We have the enchantment table. So we just need to put it in place to make the enchantment room. So come on up here, Lexi Dog. Just be careful and don't fall. Maybe if I speed walk, then she's just going to TP to me without getting hurt. Let's do that. Let's go. La 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 Be careful, Lexi. Don't fall, darling. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe having the enchantment room in this room. I thought it's like kind of like the perfect size. So let's go ahead and grab some of the books. Are you with me, Lexi? Lexi, there we are. Good job, Lexi. Who's a good dog? You're a good dog. Um, so let's go all the way around like so. Um, and then if we put the enchantment table um, in the middle. Oh, there's no middle. That's really going to bug me. But it's it's fine. I, I just got to get over that. Let's put the enchantment table like uh, here. There we go. Then we can just have like a whole bunch of like books going all the way around. Just like the old one. But this will just be a lot cuter. Lexi, would you mind coming out of the way? So you just so I can put some books down there? Is that cool? Lexi, come out here, baby. Lexi, come over here. 
I, I just need to put books in, there we go, just where you were, sweetheart, there we go, that looks real cool, do you like it, Lexi? I think it looks pretty neat. Okay, so that bit's done, so let's go to the very, very, very top, uh, just be real careful, my darling doggy, I wouldn't forgive myself if anything bad happened to my dogs, I, I, I would hate it so much. Uh, right, so here we are at the very top. Are you coming, baby? You want to see it? Good job, Lexi. Good job. Let's check out this amazing view. Oh, cool. That's so beautiful. Look at it, Lexi. Wow. That is a beautiful view. That's incredible. Wow. Look at it. That's absolutely amazing. You can see for miles. Wow, look at the snow biome. That looks awesome. What do you think, Lexi? Do you think it looks good? And there's the desert over there. Cool. I like it a lot. Well, luckily, we have just run out of time for this episode at the perfect time because um, we've finished with the treehouse. It's completely done. I'm just going to carry on like doing the top of it just to get that like looking a lot more better. But that's it, guys. We're finished with the Enchanted Treehouse. It's looking amazing. You guys need to keep sending me ideas for what you want me to do with the other huts that we have. I think we have like three more huts, I believe, that we need to fill. So keep giving me your ideas on what you think we should put in those huts. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Now, before we end the episode completely, Lexi, you stay here because this could be dangerous. I'm going to test out the jump, okay? We're going to see how it goes, okay? Can we do it? Will we live? I'm really frightened to do it. I'm really scared. <laughs> Loves it. Three two, one, Geromino! Don't die! Yay! I did it! Loves it! That's awesome! Thank you so much again to Marissa for your awesome fan art. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Amy's World, in the description down below. And thank you guys so very much for watching. I love you guys! Bye!